everyone and welcome to Tutorial Grid Review. Now in this review we are reviewing two microphones that are gonna knock your socks off whenever it comes to budget filmmaking and they're only $74.99, so 75 bucks. But first, if you like the music that is going on in the background or if you like the stuff that I use that is on my channel, I get all my, my music and sound effects and stuff like that all through amazingmusictracks.com. Check them out, they've got great music selections and you can use our 10% off tutorial grid 10 coupon code, which will be right here. Check them out, they've got a great music selection. Now, we already have done an unboxing of this product. If you wanna see that unboxing video, you can click right up here and you'll see the card up on the right. That is our unboxing video, but that's not why you're on this video. So over the past several weeks, since I've had these microphones, I really wanted to bring them out and take them to shoots. I wanted to take them on an actual shoot that I did with my friend Kelly uh, of our first behind the lens session. And we shot that video all with the newer NW410 microphone. And that's what this video video looks and sounds like. If don't wait on equipment, if you have an idea for a story, if you, and you have an iPhone or a, 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 some sort of camera that gets audio of some kind, go shoot it. I mean, you may want to shoot it again later with a better camera or better audio equipment, but at least it'll give you experience, it'll give you a storyboard to work with, or it might give you a film that you're proud of. Now, right off the bat, I was very, very impressed with just really how much sound it was able to get rid of in the environment that we were in. We set up these microphones, there was still a lot of noise, and these microphones were able to really not capture a lot of that noise. Now it did get a nice ambient sound from the restaurant, but it really was able to hone in on our voices. And that is partially intact because these microphones come with three separate capsules, super cardioid, cardioid, and omni capsules. The biggest reason why I got these is because I use hypercardioid overhead pencil microphones. Now in this very video, I'm actually using the newer NW410 right now. So you know what this microphone is gonna sound like. And that's what this sounds like in this room. I am in a somewhat audio treated room, but I have a bare ceiling as well as I have a bare hardwood floor. So more than likely, you're probably going to hear a little bit of the room, but this is precisely what these microphones are meant for. Now this is a super cardioid microphone, so you are going to hone in a little bit of a wider spectrum to gather that voice. So you are gonna get a little bit more reflection around the corners, but that's okay because you know what? The microphone that's gonna work best is the microphone that you have. And for $74.99, these microphones are a steal. Now, now, let's go over some of the things that I really liked about the microphones. First thing that I love about these microphones are they come with two and they're only $74.99 on Amazon right now. Ah, like if you're looking for interview microphones for indoor, even outdoor booming, if you are a lone shooter like I am a lot of the times, put these on two different microphone stands and you got yourself an interview setup. For this price, these are fantastic microphones and just an absolute steal. Now the second thing that I really, really do love about these microphones is really the two microphones are six. So these microphones have capsules. So this is the super cardioid capsule that comes on this microphone. So you're able to unscrew these microphone capsules and put on a different capsule onto this microphone. So for regular overhead booming, I use hypercardioid capsules, but this has a super cardioid cap capsule. So it's able to get a little bit of a wider stance on your audio stream. So you're gonna get a little bit more reflections from your room, but you're still gonna be able to hone in on that voice that you're trying to capture. So two actual physical microphones, but three different options of microphone. So that's really, really cool. Now the, the third thing I really like about these microphones is they feel like microphones. They have weight to them. There's one thing I really hate most about a cheap microphone is they really feel cheap. They feel kind of plasticky, like they're just really thin. This actually feels like my Audix. And this is a really, I mean, it just, it, it fits nicely in your hand. It's easy to get on that microphone holder. It's truly, it just, it just feels really, really great. Now let's move on to some of the things I just kind of don't like about the microphone. So one thing, kind of a pet peeve of mine, whenever you get a case, you want that case to be absolutely secure. Now on this case, 
This, it, it feels flimsy. It's plasticky. I know it's a cheap case. It comes with, it's a cheap case for $74.99, two microphones and capsules and everything you need to overhead two people. The case is really cheap, but that's okay. But one thing that I don't like about it is the fact that whenever you do have your microphones in here, say it's jostling in the backseat of a car or getting thrown around every single time so far, every single time, whenever I open up this case, one of the microphones is out and it's kind of jostling about. And that's one thing I just kind of don't like about this case because I don't want my microphones getting roughed up. I don't want the capsules getting hurt because the capsules can get damaged. Even though they're in a really nice metal structure, they can get damaged easily by impact. It's just, it's just the thing. Microphone anything can get damaged on any type of impact. So that's something I don't like about this case. Now it is kind of secured, it's kind of padded, but you never know. So that's one thing I don't like about the microphones is the case that it comes with is pretty janky, but I would get something better like a Pelican or something that's gonna house all of your audio gear all in one place. Now, the second thing that I really don't like about these microphones, and it might've been just a fluke, it, might have been something that's concurrent. Whenever I was doing the interview session with Kelly, I had two of these microphones plugged in directly into my camera. On both of them, it seemed to have a very high pitch, just kind of kind of kind of noise. Now I don't know whether or not that was from the restaurant itself or something it was picking up or maybe it had a loose connection, but I did see that it did have a slight high pitched kind of whine that I couldn't audibly hear whenever I was using the microphones on set. But whenever I went back and post processed, I definitely saw that that small little high pitched whine was there. And after putting on compression, it was definitely there. I had to scoop out a lot of that high EQ in order to make these sound really, really good. Now, with that being said, whenever I used them on a on a commercial shoot two days after that, they did not have that high pitch one. And that might have been a, something with my camera, not 100% sure, but it did happen once and then it didn't happen again. So I'm gonna take it, it was partially the camera's fault, but that is one thing that I did not like about the microphones. It might be the microphone, it might not be the microphone, but it was there. So be wary about and make sure to listen back to your audio before you absolutely go, all right, let's shoot. So make sure to always be checking your audio, make sure that you, you may or may not have that high pitch one. So just to be sure I'm not going crazy, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this microphone to my DAW. So we're gonna go ahead and just check some EQ levels, see how they record, and see if that high pitch whine is actually there. All right, so here we are in Adobe Audition. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is setting up a project uh, for our microphone test. Now I just have this plugged directly into my focus right right here. So I'm recording into the camera with the same microphone, the N, uh, the, the newer NW410. And uh, I'm also gonna be recording into this microphone as well. So here we are in, we're doing a review of the NW410. So far, this waveform looks fantastic. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of dead space where extra noise can be seen so far on the wave. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it right here just like this until we're ready to stop. All right, so right off the bat, I'm not seeing any high pitched noise like I was seeing before um, in the restaurant. So it could have been just a weird coincidence. It just happened with a microphone, but so far so good. It sounds good. I'm obviously breathing directly into the microphone, which you're not supposed to, but again, you're also hearing the microphone from overhead. So I'm using the same microphone as an overhead mic right now. Anyway, so far, this microphone looks really good. It has a really low low noise floor. So yeah, I mean, this it is an absolutely fantastic microphone so far. Now, overall, I truly believe that these microphones are an, a budget filmmaker's holy grail of microphone solutions, especially whenever it comes to indoor miking. You want to have something that is really sensitive into one area for your miking. Now, I don't like boom microphones for indoor miking because boom microphones have that 
capsules a lot larger and it's able to capture a lot of reverse reflections. And that's gonna be on another video about exactly why you shouldn't use a shotgun mic for indoor miking. So the newer NW410 are absolutely a steal of a deal for two microphones as well as three different microphone solutions in the box with the case. It is an amazing steal of a deal directly from Amazon, $74.99. You, you really can't beat an indoor microphone solution. The microphones sound fantastic and you, you really can't beat that price. At least I can't so far, I haven't found any. Anyway, thank you for watching this review of the newer NW410 pencil microphones. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to like and subscribe to my videos as well as hit that little notification bell. It's down there, it's kind of hiding, but make sure to hit that bell. I would love your support. Also, check out my Patreon. It should be in the description below by this time. Also, check out our friends over at amazingmusictracks.com, tutorial grid 10 for 10% off of your purchase. Everyone, thank you for watching. Much love, always stay creative, and I will see you next time.